Hi guys, welcome back to the Take Me Alternative. First of all, I want, I want to apologize for my voice. I don't know, I've been getting a bit sick. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, NVIDIA Pascal GTX 1080 and GTX 1070 to utilize DDR5X memory. Demo expected next week. Uh, the debate of the next gen NVIDIA Pascal GPU is just around the corner. CEO Jen is expected to unveil the Pascal architecture at the end. Uh, at uh, this year's GPU technology conference next week. That being said, a new report has just surfaced on the web which claimed that, that the upcoming Pascal GPU uh, 1080 and 1070 will utilize DDR5X memory. If the information comes from the, from a Swedish website uh, which would suggest that the successor to current 970 980 graphic cards will support higher bandwidth memory DDR5X which offer twice as bandwidth stor uh, storage over the last gen DDR5. This is in the line of the, uh, with the previous report from Benchlife, which states the upcoming GTX 1080 will be configured with 8GB DDR5X memory based on the most powerful GP104 configuration. The G GTX 10, uh, 1080 is rumored to feature 4096 CUDA cores, uh, 256 texture mapping units, 128 render outputs, uh, uh, outputs units along with base clock of 1000MHz, 4 total of 8192 teraflops. The NVIDIA Pascal is, is built in 16 NF NM processing technology which will which will enable much uh, reduced power consumption as well as the performance improvement over the the, the predecessor Maxwell. Uh, here is what we know about the NVIDIA architecture so far. So it's a Pascal is two times performance per watt estimated improvement of Pascal to launch in 2016. Uh, Direct 12 feature Direct 12 uh, 1 dash, uh, 12 1.1 or higher successor to, successor to GM 200 GPU found in Titan X and another TI built on 16 millimeter uh, 16 nm FinFET manufacturing process allegedly has total of 17 billion transistors more than twice of GM 200 will feature four. Um, Four HI HBM2 stacks for total of 16 gigabyte VRAM and eight HR stacks for up to 32 gigabyte for the professional com uh, compute SKUs. Features a uh, 4096 uh, bit memory interface, same as the AMG Fiji GPU powered by Fury X series. Feature in, in the link um, supports uh, half precision uh, FP16 compute as twice as rate of full precision uh, FP32. The pricing expected to be uh, around six, 600 to 1,100. The chip makers are planning to be launching next new GPUs in May 2016. So that's just around the corner. But yeah, that's the pricing we expect. Uh, that's the price in US dollars. In Australia, where I live, I believe this is going to be 1,600 to possibly 1,800 dollars. I believe. You know, the Titan X in Australia is still uh, astonishing, like fucking. 16 to 1700 dollars in some places up to 2000 dollars for fucking gpu you know but uh, i i believe um i've been actually uh, googling and on ebay um you see a lot of 980 ti's actually 980s are going for really really cheap like just just before i started this video there was a guy selling lives next to my house actually selling uh, titan x for as low as 900 dollars so we're gonna see. I this is what I say to people: you should not be upgrading now. Wait until everything is um, being released. That way, the current generation of GPUs will go down. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more. Thank you.